get the hell out of here. See, this is what I'm telling you. I just built a pixel perfect Airbnb clone. Here's the original. And here's what we did in 10 minutes in this video. Look at this product page, this listing page. This was all done with these two tools. Copy coder right here, chat LLM. But not only that, it is an actual IDE that lives on your computer that you can use. All right, let's jump into it. So first steps first, let me just tell you a little bit about chat LLM. So besides all of the different models you can use in this tool, you can use DeepSeek, all of the different language models, GPT-4, Sonnet 3.7, Gemini 2.5, all of the newest ones are all going to be in here. This is definitely one of the greatest things that I've seen as far as having access to everything for one price. And then what's great about it is it has a bunch of features, but today we're going to be focused on this down here, Code LLM. So you could actually download an IDE that actually lives on your computer like you've seen before with Cursor and all these other IDE tools that you can actually download that's local. See, this is actually local on my machine. And then we're going to be using Copy Coder which is gonna give us the best prompts and is gonna make this pixel damn perfect, which is, is, this should be illegal. But again, we're using this inspiration and education to show you we're never gonna launch an Airbnb clone, but we're gonna probably make it something else. So first things first, as always, we're gonna take a screenshot. So this is the steps. We're gonna take a nice screenshot of Airbnb. Then we're gonna take a screenshot of the profile page. So let's zoom out a little so we get as much info as possible. And I'll show you why we're doing this. So we're gonna take that. Now we got the two, and then we're going to go to Copy Coder. We're going to hit New Project. So what Copy Coder will do is it will give you all the prompts, landing page or web app. Of course, we're building a web app because we're not just trying to create a basic landing page. We're actually going to try to build a real product here that's going to function, and we're going to continue adding features to it as it grows. So first thing, main page. We're going to click Upload, and now we're going to go to our thumbnails or the pictures, and we're going to go and upload our homepage. What Copy Coder will do is it's going to analyze all of the details on that page, every single navigation button, every single image, and it's going to break down and give you a full page breakdown. But not only that, it's gonna give us something called a CLI, which I'll show you in a second, but first let's do this. So as you can see here, it broke it down and now you see stays, experiences, cabins, icons. These are all different pages. If you go back to it, you can see right here, icons, amazing places. But for the purpose of this, all we want is two pages at first. So we're going to get rid of stays, we're going to get rid of experiences, and we're just going to focus on the main page. So let me delete these. If you guys never watch my channel, my name is Marcin AI. I am a no-code dev, of course, just out of here vibe coding and making different products. So we have a bunch of different games we've launched. You can all check them on the channel. I don't want to bore you with it. And of course, if you guys do check out either Chat LLM or Copy Coder below, buys me a cup of coffee. I'm always super grateful for that. So now we have it. We're going to do main page. And then we're going to add a secondary page and we're going to call this our listing details page, listing details. So we're going to create that one. So this is when you click on the actual listing and then we're going to, of course, load that page. So that's going to be this one. We're going to hit that. If you're doing 10 pages, you upload 10 pages, right? The, the point of this is we're not trying to build a full blown platform, but I'm going to show you two massive steps in doing so because it's going to take more than 10 minutes. As I mentioned, we're already running out of time. I think we're like three minutes in. So Next, we're going to hit generate pages. So what it's gonna do is now it's gonna start breaking it down, both pages, and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna give us. And no tools up to this point have been able to recreate what Copy Coder does. I've tried them all, trust me. But when you see the results of this, it will blow your mind. And version two just came out, and this is what we're using right now. And I think you can get it for 15 bucks, which is crazy. And you get 50 websites for that, which is basically free. And then Chat LM, I think it's like $10 a month to, uh, to start. And if you're looking to surround yourself with a bunch of other no-code devs, designers, creators, I have a private community called the No-Code AI Army. It is 100% for free. Definitely check that out below. No pressure. But if you do want a community, this is the place. So here we go. So check this out. Project setup via CLI. So this is a project files and setup command. I'll show you why this is important and why it fast tracks the process. On top of that, we're going to have our page analysis. This is where the magic is. Look at all this info. This is what a true engineer would put into no code tool. But for us, it's going to do that for us. All the languages in here, I would never be able to do this myself. I can obviously prompt on chat GPT or all that other stuff, but there's just no point to do it. So we're going to copy this CLI. Now we're going to open up day tonight. Then we're going to click up here. We're going to open folder. Just follow along step by step and you'll be able to do this exact thing. So stay tonight. There it is. So now we have a folder called stay tonight. Up here, you're going to see there's a chat agent. And then there is an actual agent right here. This is the code agent. 
And if you've played with cursor before, then it all works very, very similar. Same thing with all the other IDEs that are living on your desktop. So we got that. So now we're going to take our terminal and we're gonna paste that CLI code. The one I just showed you, this one right here. We're gonna paste that in and we're just gonna hit enter. And just like that, you now see up here, we have prompts. We have a setup file with all that super techie nerd talk. And then we have a setup authentication nerd talk, which you can go through. If you wanna learn this stuff, absolutely be the first to do it. I've done enough projects where I've gone through this and actually learned it myself, but you don't need to know it. It's just gonna do it for you. And then we have our first page, MD, and then we have our listing details page with all the breakdowns. So all we gotta do is now we go into the agent down here and say run dot setup and hit enter. And that's basically it. So what it's gonna do now is gonna read through everything. This is the process of seeing it. And it's gonna say, I'll run the setup file for you. Let me check the contents first and then execute it. This is the part that's just fun to watch because it's going to now understand exactly what the pages are and it's just gonna start implementing. It's gonna do all your environments. It's gonna basically set up all your dependencies, all that tech jargon stuff that for all the coders out there understand. But for you guys, if you're just starting out, this is all lingo to set up the, the structure. It's kind of like if you're making a painting, you're not just gonna walk up to the board and then imagine a painting. You're gonna get your tools, right? You're gonna get your brush, you're gonna get your water, you're gonna get all these things. These are This is your environment, your painting environment. But in coding terms, these are your dependencies, these are all the stuff that you need. So now, look what it says right here. I've created the necessary scripts to do everything. So now, after running these scripts, you'll have a fully initialized next.js project. So it's gonna build a next.js project. So here is the setup. You can read through all of this, and right here, we just wanna say, run it. Now it's gonna start the whole process. Let me execute the scripts and now it's gonna start building. So look, it's gonna start creating all those files that I just mentioned. And all you gotta do is hit accept here. This is the first part. There's gonna be a lot of accepting. So I'm gonna just fast forward through this so it doesn't bore you, but I'll show you what the result is gonna be when this is done. And if you guys have watched my videos, I appreciate it. I hope you're following. If you're not, give a follow if you like this kind of education, but check out the new setup I got right here. I just got, I got my official shirt now, so I feel pretty YouTube-y and official. And also I got my, uh, wait, where is it? Right here. Dang, it's very difficult. As I always say, don't effing wait. Start coding, start downloading the tools, check out the links, go start buying stuff. Just start spending if you wanna learn because you don't have to have the knowledge of coding. All you have to do is have the willingness to learn and actually start implementing and building. So now it's gonna keep setting everything up and we're gonna just keep hitting accept until it gets to the point where it's gonna say, now I've implemented the steps and now we're gonna have an actual project. Actually, while that's going, let me show you a couple of the things that uh, chat LLM can do. So it has an operator mode. It's got an AI engineer for building agents and automations. And then the operator is where it's at though. So let me just play with this while that's all loading. So this is essentially what OpenAI did with operator, but it's 200 bucks a month. With chat LLM, you pay 10 bucks and obviously as you use it more, you're gonna pay more. So obviously that's pretty knowledgeable to, uh, to understand how that works. But let me show you what it can do. So I can just say something crazy. Can you find me every single, so I'm in the market for a new classic. So I'm trying to buy a 1969 Camaro. So let's type this in. Can you find me a 1967, 68 or 69 Camaro for sale within 300 miles of San Diego, period? I want you to break it down with the listings, the information, the costs. And also I want you to analyze the listings and I want you to look at the current value of the car. I want you to analyze if that's a good value. And then what do you think it's gonna cost to get it to show quality, period. Pretty crazy, right? So it's just gonna go off and start doing this. So I'm gonna hit send. I'm not even gonna reread this. So the operator now is going to start and actually implementing this. You'll see this in real time because it's gonna actually start doing it. So let's just wait really quick. So it's pulling up Chrome and it's just gonna start looking for all of the stuff here. So we'll give this a second, look at that. 1969 Camaro for sale within 300 miles of San Diego. I'm not doing anything by the way, look. It's completely magic. It's, it's going off on its own, controlling my computer. So um, you don't have to have any fear as far as, because this is a browser on their side, right? So this is running on their system. You're not using your own browser in here. So it's obviously safe because if it was taking control of your browser, that's a completely different thing. So it's doing it all locally on their servers and it's gonna start building all of the details that we need. 
All right, let's get back to the project. I just wanted to do that. So while we code this, we're going to let it do that. And on the end of this video, we're going to have two things done because I've been wanting to do that. So now imagine the power of that, being able to actually go in and just do these different tasks while you sleep or whatever the hell you need. We got our first thing. Here's what I've set up. Basic JetNextJS, configured everything, set up the directories and so on. You can keep reading. And now it says the project is now ready for implementing the Airbnb style property listings. Let's do it. Use language, normal language. We already have the structure of the initial prompt that Copy Coder gave us that's going to put you ahead of every freaking vibe coder out there. Everybody complains, this thing is going to break, it's not going to work, I got to this point. We're building this in an environment using the IDE, the code LLM one, where you're going to have so much more control over these files versus using a very simple system that um, lovable, the bolts of the world, they're all great, trust me, for their specific projects. But if you're actually trying to build something a little more specific with back end, something for production that you actually want to launch as a business, I tend to lean towards these products because it gives me way more control. It's got Git, it's got all the stuff that we can install. Again, I don't want to get into the weeds, but look at all, these are all extensions that I can set up. I have Docker in here, again, for all the people that understand, Git, the structures, you can do everything in here. So you have full control over your project and you're going to have way more success doing it this way. So again, this is kind of introductory video. I don't want to get too far down the weeds, but for the devs out that know, understand what I'm saying, very powerful. So it looks like it finished everything. Check this out. So it gave me all the info. Now, this is very important in this IDE, you don't have a preview window. So this is definitely one of the big things and don't freak out. All you have to do is say, run it locally. So instead of what you were used to seeing in other tools, that's just going to have a little preview window here. All you have to do is just run one command. It's going to install and execute, and then you're going to be able to see it on your browser. And the two commands you need is right down here. NPM install. You just have to copy that and paste it right there. And then we go NPM run build. So now it's going to install. And these are the only things you have to do. And once you have this set up once, now you can run it and see it locally. So now we just copy this right here, localhost. We go to our browser. And you guys ready to see this? Three, two, one, bang. Oh my God, get the hell out of here. See, this is what I'm telling you. There is no way. Well, stay night, so it didn't say, I think I might've typed it, stay tonight. Look at this. Here's Airbnb, here's our app. Come on, you're telling me this is not the best thing you've ever seen? And I guess if I click here, let's see if it worked. Fingers crossed, Beachfront Villa. Oh my God, it's got everything, hosting, reviews. I didn't even tell it to do any of that. This is wild. But there you have it. And now guess what? You just continue developing, right? So now we have the foundation. We have the structure. It's working. This is the first look, what we have. Now you want to customize it. You want to make it your own. You want to use your own things to make it a personalized product. But the core bones are all there. And you could see the absolute insane results. This is definitely wilder than I even thought. Wow, it even has this, look at this animation right here. And you can just continue talking to the agent and giving it more information saying, hey, now let's add the profile page. And now let's, when you click this button, it does this. And you continue developing it, but that's for another video because I don't want this video to be more than what I said, 10 minutes. We might've gone a little bit over, but Copy Coder with this CLI is an absolute game changer when you combine it with the Abacus Chat LLM IDE. We got the results, 1969 Camaro analysis, listing values and restoration costs. Here are all the Camaros within 300 miles of my, my home. So we got a 69 Z28 for 170, wow. Okay, we got mileage, conditions appears to be excellent. We got one for 125, 89, 110, 170. There's a bunch of other ones. So then it talks about market value analysis, according to everything. Base models are 30, SS40 has decreased 17% recently. This is why I'm looking. We've got a Z28. We got original equipment, value analysis of current listings. Many are fully restored. Some may have rare options. As you can see though, the detail is incredible. And I just asked it to do this specific task, but you can ask it to do anything you want. If you need to find your favorite restaurants, if you needed to book things for you, you could apply this operator to do all of it. Then it talks about restoration costs. So we got body and paint mechanical restoration, total range. So then here's the best value for the money. Best value in your area, the $89,000 base model, 155 miles away, might represent the best value. Then we got potential project car, 
if you're looking for a quality that's in the 30 to 50 range, and then the SS, investment potential, particularly Z21 have shown good, the recent 17% decrease suggests the market has softened slightly, making this potentially a good time to buy. Exactly. Show quality restoration, recommendations, expand your search for larger, and then also look for more project cars. So that should do it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. You saw what we did with our clone, Stay Night clone, and it was super fun. It was great to make this and show you the power of these tools and how incredibly detailed the clone is. I've done a bunch of other clones on the channel. They never look like this. Putting these two together has really resulted in something out of this world. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Marcin AI, I am out for tonight, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll see you in the group. Peace.